Hi, I'm Will Blaylock from Ascentium, and today I'll be highlighting considerations for material selection and additive manufacturing for jigs and fixtures. On factory floors of every kind, jigs and fixtures function as a vital part of industry and manufacturing processes. From simple fixtures, such as a TPU tool cover, to complex jigs, such as a 9085 CF placement fixture, these parts allow manufacturers to save time and money. Though jigs and fixtures are crucial for manufacturing, traditional production methods for these parts, including CNC machining and injection molding, have limitations. To start, CNC machining produces an extensive amount of material waste and scrap, requires expensive labor and equipment, and is not equipped for parts with complex geometries or internal features. When manufacturers run into these issues, many turn to injection molding for their jigs and fixtures. Though injection molding solves a lot of these issues, it offers limited material selections for molds and the cost of equipment for mold creation and processes make it difficult to realize an ROI unless the product order is huge. When these traditional methods fail, employing additive manufacturing when creating jigs and fixtures can open opportunities for printing parts with complex geometries and specific material specifications that are unachievable with injection molding and CNC machining. This allows industries that require flexible materials, such as TPU, high temperature and solvent resistant materials, such as 9085, and ESD safe filaments to create novel jigs and fixtures that can help them capture previously unattainable returns. The availability of these unique and innovative materials is one of the largest factors when creating novel jigs and fixtures. Today, I will focus on some of these new materials and how they're transforming jig and fixture creations in various industries. To start, let's focus on thermopolyurethane, or TPU, a tool boot cover. This newer material features several primary features that make it excellent choice for any factory floor, including electrostatically sensitive environments. The first feature of TPU AS Anti-Stat is non-marring properties. Reducing the possibility of damage to a part is extremely important on any manufacturing floor. Whether that part can be damaged by mechanical features or electrostatic charge buildup, having a material that protects it saves time and money. TPU covers can also protect humans from injuries by softening hard or sharp surfaces around the manufacturing floor. A second great feature is the flexibility that TPU 58D offers. 58D Anti-Stat has flexible properties in the material that allow users to use jigs and fixtures in applications such as interference fits, heat moldable to adjust to application contours. This can eliminate the need for fasteners and accommodate minor fluctuations in part dimensions. The third feature is TPU 58D's variable damper properties. Users can adjust perimeter lines and infill percentages to create parts that can be stiff or springy depending on the requirements for the application. This is ideal for ergonomic applications since parts can be customized to an individual's personal preferences. For example, if an employee repeatedly performs a task that involves leaning, a TPU 58D damper pad can be printed with a low infill to act as a durable anti-stack cushion support. Finally, the last feature of TPU 58D AS is a produced in a variety of colors that can act as a distinct visual indicator. This allows users to color code parts for specific uses, for appropriate departments, or for contamination issues. For example, to increase factory floor safety, dangerous parts can be printed in red, helping an employee quickly recognize hazards. These features open up opportunities for innovative applications in various industries. Here I have a TP58DS part that acts as a tool insulator boot. This specific boot would be placed on a tool that is used during a manufacturing process to prevent damage to the manufacturing product. For this application, the TP58DAS is especially useful for protecting against damage from hardened static electricity accumulation. The anti-stat properties of this material prevent possible damage to electronics parts caused by unexpected electrostatic discharges. Additionally, these parts can be custom designed to protect a variety of tools from handheld devices to tools that are fixed. The features of these novel materials, paired with the agility and speed of the HSE 180HT 3D printer, make quick design to prototype possible for a wide variety of applications. Thanks again for watching our video. If you have any other questions about Ascentium's materials or printers, please visit Ascentium.com.